Today we are going to take a look at a new app built with Alpha Anywhere. All construction projects use punch lists to close out projects. A punch list is a list of items that need to be completed or resolved before the project can be considered complete and the final bill submitted for payment. The punch list is normally agreed upon by the general contractor, the architect, and the homeowner after a project walkthrough. Many contracts will include a reference to the punch list and typically a percentage of money, normally between 2 and 10% of the total contract cost, is retained until the punch list is completed. The project punch list is a very important part of any large project. Punch lists are a very effective way to make sure that large projects are completed in a timely manner. They provide a method for all parties to easily understand what needs to be completed and by whom. They provide an easy to understand communication medium for the homeowner, the builder, and the architect when closing out a job. The Alpha Project Punch List app uses a modern approach to providing a collaborative project punch list. While not a finished final product, user login and security roles are not provided. The app provides a solid framework for future expansion and continued customization. Suggested best programming practices have been used to demonstrate many of the key Alpha Anywhere app features and all the source code and database is provided with the component. The Alpha Project Punchless app utilizes a MySQL database on the back end and it features offline functionality which includes data entry, access to the camera and audio recorder for the addition of photos and audio comments, online data synchronization with the MySQL back end, transfer of the media files, the photos and the audio recordings, to Amazon S3 storage when online. When offline, those recordings are stored within the file system. There's automatic on-device file system storage and synchronization of media files for offline use. It uses Google Maps for location information. The form view control and editor sets are used for easy data entry and editing. The keyboard will never get in the way of the controls. It demonstrates the use of parent, child, and grandchild data-driven lists, and it includes searching and filtering of the list data and verifies that the server is available before synchronization callback will ever fire. The first screen displays all the projects, and the number of punch list items is indicated on the right side of the screen. A threshold level determines the color of the indicator. In this case, the threshold level is set to 10, so the Haynes project punch list item is in red. This is an example of using templates with conditional logic to drive the CSS. Editing is done by swiping the row, which exposes a delete and an edit button. If you tap on the edit button, you can edit the picture and access and edit all the data associated with the project. If you tap on a project row, all the punch list items are presented. The items are grouped by status such as not started, in process, on hold, or completed. Each punch list item is assigned to a category like interior paint, HVAC, doors, etc. You can easily display any of the items based on the punch list item status by tapping on the respective button displayed on the bottom of the screen. Each punch list item can have specific information associated with it. So in this case, we're looking at an electrical issue. There's some cabinet lights that are missing. So if you go ahead right now and you tap on the row, uh, it will bring up the picture. And also we're going to see uh, that this has an audio note attached. So let's tap on that and we can hear the audio note. We've got some under cabinet lighting that we need to add here. So um, make sure to uh, talk to the electrician about that. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that there are numerous items associated with this particular punch list item. So we've got two notes down there. Um, if you tap on that, it's going to say, yeah, you know, the, those fixtures are miss missing. Uh, so through a field inspection or something. But there's also an audio note here, so let's hear what that says. These uh, fixtures have been missing for a while. Uh, does anybody know what's going on with those? And then we'll go back, and let's tap on the next item detail, and we see that, um, yes, these should have been supplied, and that 
Bob spoke with uh, with the electrician about it. And there's also another audio note here. I talked to Dave uh, Lawler about this thing, and he said that he agreed. The uh, these fixtures should have been in his contract, so he's going to go ahead and order those. So the ability to have this list of all these different audio notes uh, that itemize, you know, exactly what happened out in the field, I think is an essential uh, requirement for a modern punch list application. As in the project list, editing the punch list items is done by swiping the row and tapping on the edit button. You can use the camera to capture an image or you can edit any of the fields. Form view and editor controls are used for efficient mobile device data entry and you can cycle through all of the fields by tapping on the arrow button. When a text field input is required, the keyboard will be displayed and it will not block the field. The keyboard will automatically close when it is not required. Here we have completed an edit to this record and the data is stored on the device. If the device is online and the server is available, the sync button on the project screen will be enabled. And when tapped, the data is synced from the device to the MySQL database server. That wraps up this overview of the project punch list app built with Alpha Anywhere. This is a great example of the type of mobile app that shows the real power of Alpha Anywhere. It is fully functional when offline or online allowing project managers in the field to display, edit, and add new records with field data, photos, and audio recordings. It also uses the device's file system for data storage, so it's only limited by the available memory on the device. And best of all, the source code and database are available for all developers to study and modify to use for their own custom app. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.